Okay, uh, in this movie we're going to be creating the uh, first burst of motion. You know, this is what uh, I mean here. These uh, two main waves that basically create uh, the uh, movements of our uh, clones and moving them. This is what I mean here. Uh, we're going to be trying to recreate this sort of motion using our uh, plane effector and uh, using different type of polyps and I show you how... Uh, you do that so let's uh, get our uh, main cloner selected go to your MoGraph effector and add a simple plane effector here there we go as you can see the first thing that plane effectors does and affects uh, you can see in the parameters it moves our clones in y-axis by 100 centimeter so this is uh, not too bad for starting but uh, for starters the first thing I want to do is to change the falloff type from infinite to Taurus okay this is the first thing and the next thing I want to make sure if I go through here I want to make sure that my um, sort of uh, Taurus is not here but I want to kind of align it with my uh, floor something like this so if you go to its coordinates it's something like 50 centimeters let's go a bit more round number exactly 50 centimeters and uh, this is our uh, first uh, torus and uh, basically if you take a look uh, it uh, is a torus and uh, it affects only the clones that are inside this torus if you take a look here. Uh, so that's very uh, simple I think. Let's just uh, change, go to our falloff tab and change the uh, size a bit. I want to make sure it's, uh, let's see, go to something like 50 centimeters in y-axis 75 so now we have some action going on change this fall off to 100 percent so the uh, amount of effect is a bit more uh, gradual and uh, also I think generally speaking we're in a good position right now uh, what I wanna change let's go to our option level of detail go to medium so we have a bit uh, more of clones and we can see them uh, much more uh, better and let's start actually animating our plane. I'm going to go to frame zero and uh, start working on my first uh, Taurus planer. Uh, the amounts and the parameters I want to animate. The first thing is this uh, scale and uh, as you can see as I change the scale it goes and becomes bigger and if I go overboard you can see it sort of uh, gives us this sort of motion as you can see very nice and another parameter that's very important is this radius which basically controls uh, the uh, radius of our torus and how uh, uh, kind of slim or thick it gets as you can see you can basically change it so by animating these two parameters we can basically animate our first torus and create our first burst of motion so let's uh, get started. I'm going to start by the scale of 100% uh, and get back to frame 0 and animate this value and the radius uh, let's go to something like 50% uh, okay and animate the radius 2 and let's go to something like 2-3 uh, seconds uh, about frame 80 okay in frame 80, I want to make my uh, radius something like 20% or 25% and add the scale, increase the scale amount to something like, let's go quite a big amount, like 1200%. And uh, now if you, I get go back, you can see the sort of motion we have. I think we forgot to, yes, uh, just I uh, did a mistake here and animate the size. Just control shift, click on this uh, circle here. It gets rid of the animation track there for you. And make sure you change your scale to 100% and animate it again. And that should give you this sort of motion, as you can see. And we have a much more better viewport, as you can see right now. Great. 
So this is our first burst of motion. We're going to definitely uh, need to tweak it when we create the second torus. So this is our first torus. Let me uh, put it down here and name it plane. Uh, let's see if everything is great. Okay, plane uh, torus 01. And uh, control and drag to create the second copy and name it 02. For this uh, second copy, I'm gonna right click on this and go to my uh, go to your show tracks, and uh, I just want to offset the motions and the animations on this uh, plane, uh, uh, you know, to to uh, the first one. Uh, let me offset it. Uh, we right now we have just our second plane effector. I put our first plane effector in here. Now we got both of them. And what I want to do, uh, this is our second plane effector. Let me hit H so it zooms in and frames all of our keyframes. And then I'm, I'm going to select my second plane effectors. And let's just take a look at the motions here. If we go to frame, for example, 10. Okay, right now it looks like because we have copied our plane effector, it hasn't been applied to our cloner. So select your clone. Cloner, go to your effector tab and make sure your second plane effector is also applied to your cloner. Now, uh, there we go, you get this uh, motion, and as you adjust the uh, keys here and offset them, you get this different uh, set of motion. I'm going to go to frame 10, looks like uh, uh, sweet spots there, and uh, just I'm going to select my second torus effector, go to your fall off shape, and what I'm going to change in here is basically try to uh, stretch it in Z direction so we get those sort of ellipse-like uh, wave. Uh, let's go to something like 175. Okay. And uh, let's see what we have right now. Now this is the motion that we get. Uh, and let's see what we have here. Okay, it is not too bad. First of all, uh, we got a few problems. As you can see, our clones uh, shouldn't go uh, kind of... Uh, let's take a look at here. You can see these clones are uh, moving away from our floor and we have to make sure that they are staying uh, kind of connected to those floors. Otherwise, we're going to have so many problems. So let's uh, see uh, which... We have to adjust both of them. So let's uh, go to our plane effectors, both of them. Go to your, let's select the first one. Go to parameters. Right now it's 100 centimeters, which is too much. Let's go to 50 centimeters. And for this one, let's go to something like 60 and see what's going to happen. Now, as you can see, all the clones are staying down here, which is great. And if you take a look, you have this nice motion. Let's just uh, see where we are here I think the amount of offset could be a bit more uh, let's just uh, do that show the uh, tracks and make sure you have the first plane effector there and let's uh, hit H to zoom in and let's make the offset a bit more so Something like this looks like quite nice actually for my eyes. And I'm gonna close this scene. Let me save the uh, scene here for you. And let's add a bit more detail so we can see where we are. And also I'm going to my um, a cloner and uh, turn this proxy off so we can really see what's going on in our scene. Okay, so uh, display quick shading lines there we go I think we have uh, turn on this stereoscopic effect stereoscopic effect so we got some problems uh, okay now we can try to render this uh, motion and see what we have or let's just get away a bit here and just render quick render and see where we are. Okay, not too bad at all. And we're gonna add uh, more secondary motions later on. 
Uh, let's see, select this plane effector, the fall-offs are good. And I think we are ready to uh, go there. Mm, let's just, uh, for final tweaks, I'm going to my parameters here. Let's uh, just go to something like 40 and 50 maybe. Because those sort of looks like a bit more too much of motions. Oh, okay, this is definitely... Uh, not too bad, and if we want, we can still go lower, go to something like 30 centimeter and 40 centimeter for this one, and let's see where we are. Okay, definitely not too bad, and we can actually have a, a quick uh, a preview uh, render and see what's going on in our scene, so let me just... Uh, uh, in order to do that, I'm going to make my render to be the uh, software render and uh, I am ready to go through and also make sure you got the frame from frame 0 to 150. Let's have a quick render and just something like 500, 375 and let's just hit render so we get a quick software preview and it should be very quick. I'm going to pause the video uh, until it's finished. So let's stop the render. I think it's enough here. And uh, this is what we have, which is uh, definitely not too bad. And when we add those secondary motions, uh, it's going to get uh, much more better and much more nicer. But uh, for starting point, is uh, I'm, I'm quite happy. And we get this sort of nice motions. And... Uh, uh, just uh, let's quickly uh, organize our scene as we go. Uh, select those two effector Alt G and let's name them uh, effectors for main cloner. Okay. And also, I'm going to go to my layers and create a new layer. And let's go to a bit more different color. Control down and uh, add this. A uh, whole null object to your layer so the ch children also uh, now are part of that layer and let's name these guys the effectors okay there we go and I think we are ready to go to our next lesson and add more secondary motions